now we're going to see DNS zones basically there are two types of zone one is forward lookup zone that we're going to register during uh, the enrollment of our DNS server which is called forward lookup zone that converts or translate the host name to the IP address for example if I have my website which calls as xyz.com okay so under forward lookup zone I have to add the IP address as 192.168 this is just the example okay which is called forward lookup zone the second is reverse lookup zone so under reverse lookup it is opposite to it that that converts the IP address to the host name so which is the vice versa of forward lookup zone okay there are two zones and there are three types of DNS server the first one is primary basically the primary maintains SOA SOA is start of authority so start of authority with which is basically containing all the information in regards with in regards with the email of the domain then registered detail and the update detail of the domain that under what time the the server needs to get updated okay so it contains all the information which called as SOA under SOA we can going to see that as well in the practical aspect as well basically SOA contains all the authoritative uh, information of that specific domain that for example our domain name is XYZ so it contains all the authoritative uh, namespace name server information okay under that the second one is secondary secondary is obviously that contains the master file of the primary okay so on the master file of the primary is stored in secondary which basically cannot able to make any changes so if they need to make any changes they'll again send it to the secondary again send to the primary but the secondary does not have any authority to make any changes in the master file that has been created by the primary server okay and the third one is cache server cache server is basically uh, for example you know as I said that while the client requested from the browser to the server okay and if the DNS resolver get the details okay so under DNS resolver only there is and space given to the cache memory for the cache server that for example if it went to any of the server and if the client needs for the future use it's stored in the cache memory so that if the client needs it in the future they just directly check in the cache server and they get back the information to the client so these all are the three servers uh, of DNS now we see the record what are the types of a record we're going to see okay so the first record is called as a record so a record contains it is a short form of address record it is a type of DNS record used to map the domain name to the IPv4 address so as we said it has the detail of host name to the IP address detail okay which is called a record which is called address record so for example if your website is hosted as XYZ 
has the IP address 192.168.0.1 is the A record of the, your domain correct the second one is C name C name is basically a canonical name okay so the full form is canonical name it maps the domain to the another domain name so for example there is a domain as I said xyz.com okay and xyz.com also has a subdomain which is called as blogs or blogs.xyz.com what canonical name does is that it for example if a website is hosted on xyz.com okay and if you want to point the same location of the blog.xyz.com and the career, career page of the uh, xyz.com so it points out using canonical name mx record is for mail server it maps the particular uh, mail exchange record server okay under DNS so for example it is used to specify the mail server that is responsible for receiving the email on the behalf of your domain okay so it is responsible for receiving emails on your on behalf of your domain okay which is called mail exchange record server okay SOA as I already discussed which contains start of authority that contains all the authoritative names server information which is like XYZ of your domain that when the domain has been registered the mail server exchange detail then update details which all comes under SOA that contains essential information about your DNS domain okay so these all are the important record there are many other records as well that you can go into for example there is a record as well so there is four times a which is basically used to register from the host name for the IPv6 address 